So I moved across the country for my first year as a professional soccer player from California to Florida. It was early February when we found out that the league actually folded. So my plans to you know, play one more season and see if I could get some recognition from the national team and get a chance to play in that Olympics kind of all crumbled uh, in, a, in a moment, in an email. I woke up and I was unemployed. I moved my entire life across the world. I ended up in Gothenburg, Sweden, and I had this fresh start as a human being, and I could be whoever I wanted, and I didn't have to be held back by old perceptions of who I am or the things that I didn't like about myself and the fears and the worries I had about my career. I remember playing in college especially. I cried almost every game that I played. I felt so much stress and pressure that I was letting down my teammates and I was letting down my family and, and the fans and my friends at the school that if I didn't score, it wasn't good enough if we won. If we didn't win, I would be letting down everyone. And so I just carried that weight with me every game. And then when I started playing in Sweden, everything was different. There was nobody watching, nobody knew what I was doing. And so I was just playing for the love of the game. And after my first season, my coach came up to me and he said, of all the players that I ever coached, you're the one who smiles the most on the field. And that was the biggest compliment I, I've ever received because it was such a transformation from the year before and the years before that where I was literally tearing up on the field and unable to focus on what I was doing because I was so upset. It's been really important for me to just remember that I'm playing for myself, that my best is good enough, not to look over my shoulders and worry about what everybody else is doing, that I have found my little piece of peace in this chaotic world and I'm not gonna give it up.